four and a half years ago, the chairman of Reliance Industries said this, data is the new oil. To my mind, data is the new natural resource. And he was not wrong. You can see where Reliance Geo is today. It is dominating the Indian market with 33% shares. But data has one more application which can revolutionize your career. So data is the new biotech oil which I want to talk about today. Hello and welcome to Biotechnica. I'm so happy that you chose to watch this video apart from all those videos which are there on the internet because the next seven minutes probably are going to be the best minutes of your life. I promise that. Let us start with this fact that if the chairman of Reliance Industries had not identified this fact that data is the new oil, he would have lost a lot of money. Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section, right? The same way, if you do not realize that data is the new biotech oil, then you are about to lose millions of dollars. And why do I say that? Well, that's all because of computers. Now. Today, computers are everywhere. In fact, the video where you're watching, we call it as a mobile, but actually that's also a computer, right? Computers have changed the way we look at things, we interpret things, we do things, but they have also changed one more important thing. That is your experiments. Yes, you heard me right. Experiments have changed. Earlier, you used to do an experiment, got the reading, happy, took three readings, gave your results but that's college when it comes to the real world where you are delivering results to clients then the data which you generate out of those experiments are so huge that you cannot analyze by yourself that is where computer comes into picture and now companies didn't knew how to handle this data so they hired three people bioinformatician data scientist AI ML DL experts. Now what is DL? Deep learning, right? Now these kind of experts, and what are they doing? They are looking at the data which is being generated through experiments, analyzing, interpreting, extrapolating, and trying to find out results which has never been achieved. So let's talk about the advancement of genomics today. As we say, the rapid progress in the sequencing technologies such as NGS, has generated vast amount of data, genetic data, which requires a bioinformatician and an AI ML expert to analyze, imp, interpret, and extrapolate. Followed by that, today we are sitting in the era of personalized medicine. Your gut microbiome is different, so your medicine has to be different. Your body is different, so your medicine has to be different, right? No one size fits all anymore. And how companies are able to do it or deliver is because of data. If we have personalized genomic data, then only we can have personalized medicine. And if we have personalized medicine, then we can treat diseases better. And that is where AI, ML, and bioinformatics jobs are exploding like anything. Now the third point, drug discovery and development. You must have seen, drug discovery is a tedious, slow, very slow-moving process. But what if we could accelerate it? What if we could make it more efficient? What if we could find more results from the existing experiments. That is where we have artificial intelligence and machine learning, deep learning algorithms coming into picture and they are helping us. And that is why you do no, no longer need a molecular biologist or a cell biologist or a microbiologist. You need a data scientist in every experiment. And that is why I'm saying the market is exploding. But don't believe me whatever I said. The reason I actually chose this video is because I was blown away. So I placed a student of Biotechnica. So we trained that person. He published two papers. And now that student, we placed in a US company in six-figure salary. And whatever salary that person asked, he got a 20% increased salary. So he asked, suppose for $40,000 per month, he was offered $60,000. Imagine. And why is that? Because the company is convinced that if this kind of a talent comes in, he's going to do magic. Artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning and bioinformatics is magic. The data, the biological data is the new oil of biotech industry. You got to realize it. You got to learn it. You got to execute it. 
you deserve to earn in dollars and spend rupees. So learn it. Next, have you ever heard of health care data integration? You must have heard of NHS, right? In UK, we have NHS, right? In US, you have the social security net and the Medicare, Obamacare facilities, right? But now all of that is getting integrated with data and the data is being sold to pharmaceutical companies and the pharmaceutical companies don't know how to use it. So they are employing bioinformaticians, AIML experts to understand this diverse healthcare data set and electronic healthcare records, clinical trial records, wearable data devices records and they are using bioinformatics AIML to come up with sol solutions and conclusions. Imagine where it can be used. Now come to agriculture. You had breakfast or lunch today, right? Food, agriculture. Where does it come from? Agriculture. But we have less land, more population. We have less amount of time. We have to produce more for more people. Food, right? Precision agriculture is the future of agriculture. And that is where AIML bioinformatics is being used. Imagine the world is exploding. The jobs are exploding this month. Companies are lining up for candidates who have biological data. All that skill set, wet lab experience, as well as dry lab experience. You're no longer expected to only have a wet lab or only have a dry lab. You need to have both. And that is why I'm telling you the jobs in the bioinformatics, AIML and deep learning market is exploding. If you learn fast, then you could be that Mukesh Ambani of the biotech industry who says proudly in the future that I recognized it early that biological data is the future of experiment, is the future of research. So I invested my life, my career into bioinformatics, AIML, and today I am what I am, right? 2047 India will celebrate the 100th year of independence, right? And you can be that senior scientist who would have changed the face of our nation, of, of our country. Right? Our public health care records are not at all existent. What if you will contribute there to take that data and create solutions for the poor population? You can create impact in the society. At the same time, you can earn a lot of money. Now tell me which profession gives you that? Only biotech, only life science, only healthcare gives you that, right? You create impact to the society and at the same time, you earn a lot of money. And that is where you got to choose what you want to do. Now coming to the next aspect, I am seeing a huge trend of companies who are working in AI, ML and bioinformatics getting funded faster. And all that funding is going into this research. You have faster computers, better demand for talent and more funding available for bioinformaticians and AI, ML experts. I know a expert who is working with DARPA. She is in India. She is in Pune. And she is working with Department of Defense, United States of America on developing an algorithm, which I cannot disclose because it's a defense project. But it is from America, Indian. Imagine how much money she might be earning. Millions of dollars, right? And now we are looking at a brick speed of innovation, technological innovation in this area. We are seeing newer algorithms, newer softwares, more computational power, more data storage available at a cheaper price. And this is enabling bioinformaticians to analyze data, complex data in an easier manner, in a faster manner. And this brings me to the next part. You need to have those skills to do whatever you can do potentially, right? But if you stay stuck, if you stay stuck into the old school, old style of looking for jobs, then God save you. I can't. But don't blame me later that I did not warn you that this revolution is here. If you jump in today, you can be at the top. But if you don't, you're going to lose. And you're going to lose big time because bioinformatics is going to be the future of biotechnology industry, pharma industry, healthcare industry. The rapid increase in funding followed by the pandemic. We saw the pandemic, right? What happened in COVID-19? We could develop a vaccine without a virulent factor using reverse mRNA technique, mRNA technique, right? Using bioinformatics and an Indian did that, right? Mihir did that, correct? So you have to identify the requirement, learn interdisciplinary skills and implement in your If you keep postponing, postponing, saying, okay, we'll see later. The day will come that you will have to hire someone as a bioinformatician and pay him six-figure salary to do your job. Why pay someone else instead? Why not learn yourself, right? 
one more update this last uh, evening i got a news that wet lab company so it's in wet lab they hired a msc student who was trained by us in aiml so she took the classes uh, in aiml from january to june and july she has got placed right you know what is the salary 8 lakhs per annum msc student no background of bioinformatics aiml but we have trained her she got placed for 8 lakhs per annum in this company it is in mysore okay and i cannot disclose the company name and the candidate's name because it's uh, confidential but we did it and i'm so proud to tell you that it's already happening all you have to do is get started the link to our bioinformatics aiml training is given in the description enroll fast because we take only 16 students we help you publish paper we give you the work experience certificate we train you we give you placement assistance and we make sure that you shine in this world of bioinformatics so what are you waiting for join us today and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions come or any feedback anything you would like to ask all the best take care keep shining bye bye